Hey guys, Jeff here. Today we got a beautiful rack of uh, baby back ribs going on. So these things look absolutely amazing. We get the pit barrel uh, cooker warming up outside. We just put some regular charcoal briquettes in there. Of course, we'll put a couple pieces of uh, lumps of uh, pecan wood so that we get that nice pecan flavor. So these ribs look pretty good. They just need a little bit of cleaning up. Not much. So we'll dive right in. You can use that for sausage. I don't make sausage, so I'm just gonna throw it away. But we'll clean it up, it looks nice. So on the back of the rib, you do wanna get this membrane off. And it's really simple once you get it started. Usually what I like to do is once I get it going, like, like you see here, is I'll grab a piece of paper towel. Makes it a lot easier to grip it. And then you can pull off all the bad stuff on the back. You just want the membrane to come off. This one's being tough today. There we go. You just want the membrane to come off because it makes your ribs much more enjoyable. They'll be a lot more tender without this nasty thing on here. So here we go. Sometimes it's rough to start, but once you get it going, it's not so bad. See that here? There you go. Not so bad. We'll clean this up nice. Sometimes they're a lot more cooperative, especially when you don't have a camera on. They work a lot better coming off. So now they're coming, it's coming off easy. So there we go, we're prepared with that. So we'll flip this guy back over. We got a couple of different rubs going today. Today I'm going to do a combination of this. It's called Rib Rack. I just picked it up at the local grocery store and it's a rub that I really like so why not use it. But I do like my food a little bit spicier so I found this one. It's uh, Joe's, Grandpa Joe's Honey Chipotle by uh, Joseph Q. I guess that's a local guy here in Connecticut. So you see what I'm doing? I like to wrap these things up with gloves just because why well, get the bottle all nasty? Now that our ribs are prepared, we'll get this rub all over the top. my first time doing ribs on the pit barrel so my concern with using the pit barrel is that you hang these things like this and your fire is going to be right down here so obviously the bottom side of the ribs are going to probably cook first so I think what I'll do is I'm going to put hooks on each end of the rack and I'm going to cook these for three hours so at about an hour and a half I'm going to go outside and I'm going to flip them over so that both sides get cooked equally. So now we'll use the other rub that I like. So that looks pretty good. We are putting rub on the entire rack, even the sides here. Because as I said before, you eat all sides of the ribs. So that looks pretty good. I guess we'll get wait for the grill to finish warming up and then we'll get these started on here. But you notice I brought in the hooks. So what I'll do is three, two or three bones up. I'll put this right through, maybe, and then We'll be able to hang that right on the rod on the grill. And we'll get this one started. So 
most of the second half. So we got our ribs ready to go. All right, so we're outside at the Pip Arrow Cooker, and we'll notice that the uh, temperature's up to about 275 degrees. It is a little bit hotter than I want it to be, and the flames are going a little bit much right now on one side. So we'll put our ribs in on this side, and what we're gonna do is we'll keep the, the back of the bone towards the flame. That way, if this thing gets too hot, we don't want to burn our, the meat side of the ribs. We just want to burn, we want to dark them nice and dark so they'll be nice and brown and beautiful. So we're going to cover this guy up. We'll check on this every now and again and we'll uh, see what it, how it goes. All right, guys. So our ribs have been cooking for the last probably two and a half hours now. I decided I'd come out and put some barbecue sauce on for the last 30 minutes. Wow, the color on these is unbelievable. These guys are looking really beautiful. They're looking really nice. So we're borrowing the shelf on the front of the trigger. The trigger just really likes to make uh, appearances in all my videos. Tonight we're using a sugar-free sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. I saw it at the store and figured why not give it a try. So we'll get this back on the uh, pit barrel here and um, give it about a half an hour and then we'll see how things look. All right, so I'm back in the kitchen. I went outside and I got the ribs off the pit barrel. This is our first attempt at cooking ribs on a pit barrel. So they look pretty good. They look a little darker than I typically cook ribs. I didn't wrap them. Some people wrap them do, using that 3 2, one method. I decided not to today. I wanted to get a raw experience and see what the pit barrel would do. So let's uh, give it a cut and see what these guys look like on the inside. So they do look dry. I think I may have uh, cooked them just a little too long. Well, let's give it a taste and see. Oh, actually, I take that back. They're pretty good. You can see the moisture coming right out of them. You can see that nice color ring in there. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. These are fantastic. Thanks, guys. If you like what you see, click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Amazing.